Hello everybody, this is Boaz Fader. I'm your friendly neighborhood evolutionary astrologer and this is the evolutionary astrology message for the week between the 14th and 21st of October 2017. Many clients have been asking me why do we feel this queer heavy feeling in the sky over the past week and a half? Well, before we even talk about this week, which this influence still lingers but is passing away I want to explain a little bit about why that is we have um, a square and a t-square in, in the sky over the last two weeks well the square is moving away between the Sun and Pluto this is always an intensive time always a dramatic time always a time that we challenge ourselves in the Sun is who we are and what we do in the light the light that shines forth that shines forth and emanates from us onto this world and whenever Pluto oh Georgia some hair of Georgia on my head on my nose how nice and and when uh, Pluto comes forth with a challenging aspect like a square it's always about us needing to change needing to transmute to to evolve and to um, go forward in a way that is not always comfortable for us simply but there's also another very heavy um, awkward T-square in the sky. Saturn is squaring both Chiron and Mars who are in opposition to each other. This has been going on for the last two and a half weeks. This is a heavy energy. This is an energy that makes us feel a little bit like we're bashing our head against a brick wall. Like we're trying to get ahead. We're trying to challenge ourselves. We're trying to build a firm base in our lives. But... It's not ripening the way we wanted it to ripen. It's not manifesting the way we dreamt it to manifest. It's not time yet. We're not efficient or responsible or grown up or good enough as we thought we were. And since, and of course that's, that's the square between Mars, our initiative, the things we actually want to accomplish and go towards in life, and Saturn, reality, and judgment, and the way things are, whether we like it or not. So that's a square, but if we add into the mix Chiron, which is the wounded healer, the place that we are already wounded in, and carry that weight with us wherever we go, then all these endeavors, all these places in which we challenge ourselves during the last few weeks, already touch upon places we are hurt from the past. And that could be painful. And that could be heavy. But it is moving away. We'll be still moving, uh, uh, feeling a bit of it this week. But this T-square is moving away. So, about this week. We begin this week on the 14th. Saturday today. We have Venus entering Libra. Venus entering Libra is a wonderful thing. That's her ruling sign. Venus in charge of love, relationships, income, satisfaction, everything that satisfies us in our lives. When it enters Libra, we become much more holistic, we become much more um, logical, we become much more understanding regarding the needs and the satisfaction of others, the viewpoints and philosophies of others. And we're better able to find the middle ground to become much more tactful and diplomatic. It's a time of more balance and harmony for us. But if we're not careful, we take that pendulum too far and we become too considerate and weighing the pros and cons, trying to cater to everybody too much. And then we end up canceling ourselves or not being in touch with the things that are truly dear to us. So just be careful about that. One more thing we have in the sky is that Mercury is in opposition to Uranus, its higher octave, exactly today. And it's still going to linger for a few days, but whenever Mercury in charge of communication and navigation is in opposition to the higher octave in charge of electronic communication and fast movement, then we have a... a, a we can have a short circuit in the sky, a bit like a Mercury retrograde. We have to watch the way we communicate and make sure that our communication is, is exact. Um, if we navigate somewhere in our life, we need to take more time 
for changes in the schedule. Things can change. We make plans and they change. And of course, electronic appliances and such are more uh, prone to malfunction. Um, on the 17th, the moon is going to conjunct Mars, opposing Chiron, squaring Saturn. This is a day that we can feel that T-square more heavily and we need to watch and be careful not to be carried away by drama and emotion into uh, negative feelings. Mercury enters Scorpio that day as well and joins Jupiter in Scorpio. That means that our whole navigation, the way we process information and communicate becomes much more intense, much more total, deeper, doesn't scratch the surface anymore. We're going deep, mama, we're going deep. But there's only, you know, you can only go deep enough and still come up shining and smiling. Because if we go in too deep, we can create... Uh, more pain so it's about understanding your emotional lava better it's about un understanding everything that runs underneath the surface and is not totally in our consciousness but not going in too deep and um, basically if we're talking about this time generally in the public this is a great time for revelations this is a great time for us to understand things we haven't understood before to see things as they are to lift the veil of things and and when we talk about that publicly then we can have a lot of conspiracies uh, brought out to the open or um, um all kinds of um findings and revelations about uh, uh political and 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 uh, and um and uh i'm sorry for the hang up and uh, and uh, and uh, political and, and all kinds of things that deal with leaders and power in the world that can suddenly come up to the surface and, 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 uh, and, and be seen in their true light. On the 17th, I'm sorry, on the 18th, we have the moon conjunct Venus and Libra. This is a great day to just enjoy yourself and have fun with life. Be with people, eat, drink, live, and enjoy. Satisfy yourself on the 18th. On the 19th, we have the moon squaring Pluto in the morning time. This is a dramatic time. This is a time to not be carried away by the drama, to remain logical and, and to uh, see the strategic aim of things and not, um, not lose yourself in the tactical. Just be a little more logical and distant from your feelings on that day. And later on, why is that so important? Because we have a, a new moon later on that day and the new moon is in 26 Libra and it's going to conjunct Jupiter and Mercury what is that all about well the new moon in Libra is wonderful it's about the heightening of understanding and diplomacy and tactfulness and a holistic viewpoint that can help us see things from the other point of view like we mentioned in the beginning of this video so basically this is a time for harmony and peace and of course the conjunction to Jupiter and Mercury can bring truly illumination into our life. Jupiter expands our knowledge, expands our horizon and brings great wisdom. And Mercury is the information coming in and, and going out. It's the prolification of, of, uh, of uh, information and knowledge. Hey, sorry for the quick cut to this screen, but I wanted to show you the chart and a minute after I finished the video, I saw that everything we were talking about was happening in opposition to Uranus. So look, we have everything that we talked about. The new moon in 26 Libra conjunct Jupiter, conjunct Mercury. All very nice and trendy. But Mr. Uranus is in opposition to the degree. 26 degrees to the degree. What kind of energy does that throw into the mix? A rebellious spirit surging ahead that is uncompromising and unwilling to wait no longer. That needs the advancement, that needs the transmutation, that needs to really um, find solutions to problems we've been dealing with in the old system. It's about new ideas. It's about new understandings. 
this is an energy of an epiphany this is an energy of a revelation this is an energy of knowing what it is we need to do different and if we take all that holistic energy on the other side that really takes all that peace and love and puts some pepper some cayenne up uh, where the sun don't shine and and says listen we cannot we cannot sit on our on our behinds and 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 wait for peace and harmony to come we need to bring it because trouble is brewing change is happening in front of our eyes and it is us more than everybody that need to change that need to become new that need to take some of that Iranian energy and and absorb it and absorb it so now back to the video so basically it's a very positive new moon but if we have individuals in our lives or in general that are not complying that are really remaining within the airy side of being themselves and seeing themselves and not thinking of anybody but themselves and not willing to compromise at this time we could see them in their real light better we could understand how these individuals or these instances in our life in particular or in general are actually inhibiting change inhibiting equilibrium inhibiting coexistence and peace and and harmony but it is also a time that we can understand our faults and we can understand our mistakes we can finally suddenly understand where we've been earnest where we've been mistaken where we've been going the wrong way or thinking the wrong way up to now and some new facts some new ideas that came in some new evidence that's been shown really uh, made it clear to us that we need to go on another road that we need to follow another path that we've been wrong all this time so in that sense that could be a release from old mistakes as well and like every new moon be careful and mindful of the energies that pass through you during the day before and the day after because these energies are imprinted for the next lunar cycle and uh, I'm opening a course via webinar once a week. You could study with me evolutionary astrology, basic from the beginning. You don't need to have any um, experience with astrology whatsoever. And if you do, come learn from the evolutionary viewpoint. It's a totally different thing than what you learned. And of course, we have private lessons and an advanced course in English as well. For all of these, you can contact me directly, of course, for private consultations or any questions you might have about astrology. And one more important note, the last three weeks, Facebook has been uh, um, constraining me and not letting me share any posts whatsoever. So you've probably seen less of me. And I want you to know that every comment, every like and every share of this video helps it be seen by more people i cannot share these videos facebook is not letting me so every comment every like and every share is greatly appreciated help me spread the light and thank you thank you for everything you are doing this is boaz father signing out hoping you're going to have a magical wonderful week and new moon ahead bye bye